Good morning, parents. This is Sandra with your morning meditation. Before we jump in and learn the words of encouragement that Father has for you for today, please, please take a moment out and just hit that like button for me. It gives us the opportunity to share these meditations with more parents. And please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so that you won't miss any of our great content. So let's see the word that Father has for you today. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. He's telling you, you don't not only not to fear, don't even be discouraged. Don't allow the circumstances in your world to even discourage you because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Remember, he is all powerful. He is ever present. He knows the beginning from the end. There is nothing that's going to take him by surprise. And he has nothing but the best of intentions for you. Remember his promise. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and an expected end. You can have an expectation of good every single day. You can have an expectation of things turning out in your favor every single time. Don't go through life thinking, okay, I got it the last two times, therefore, because you get something your way doesn't mean that that takes away from anyone else. God is God. He has the ability for it to be a win-win situation for everyone or for everyone to be happy because they got some level of compromise, a bit of what they wanted, and they had to give a little something up. Doesn't mean you go through life always getting the short straw or always choosing the short straw on purpose. Yes, sometimes because you're gracious and you're a child of God and because you trust his provision, you'll let somebody else take that, fill in the blank, whatever that is. But don't feel that you need to always take the short straw because you are a child of God. He has enough for everyone. So you can exercise wisdom in him as you go through the day to say, yes, yeah, sometimes to represent him, yeah, you're going to give up that little extra. You'll go out of your way to help someone just as they would for you. That's what we do in relationship. But we want to not have the mindset. Don't go into the day or the rest of your life with the mindset that you have no expectation of good for you. Maybe things haven't worked out so far. Things have not been great to this point. Doesn't mean that that's, gonna, that's your life course. It means God says he has already gain the victory over every circumstance in your life, that he will bring you victory in every circumstance in your life. Remember, we always talk about the definition. So victory doesn't look like everything's necessarily swimming roses, but in hindsight, you'll be able to look back and say, wow, look how I grew. Wow, if I had gotten that contract, look what that company got into trouble. Wow, if I had married that person, look how they turned out. Wow, if I had and you fill in the blank. So a lot of times it may not seem good in the moment, but we trust him that he has the best intentions for us. And therefore, if a door closes, it's for your best. If a door opens, have the courage to go through because it's for your best. And he's with you every step of the way as you go in. So remind yourself today when things tend to come up and we you may be tempted to allow discouragement to seep in. Tell yourself, I'm not going to be afraid. And I'm not even going to allow myself to be discouraged because the Lord my God has already gone before me and he is with me wherever I go. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. So he's going on again to remind you today. You have his undivided attention. He is seeing about you every moment of every day. He doesn't sleep. So you can trust. And when he says he takes hold of your right hand, remember the symbolism of a right hand is that he's showing you favor. You are highly favored and greatly blessed. You are the apple of his eye. And he is here to help you. So bring all of your situations to him because he's here to help you. Remember, he will not force himself into your situations. You want to invite him in. You want to give them to him. So allow him to help you. 
as you go into this day. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? So what's the response to the circumstances? What can you say and respond to these things that are in front of you? If God is for you, who can stand against you? If God is for you and is bringing with him everything in his arsenal, then who in earth, who in any realm can stand against you? Physical, spiritual, nothing, no one stands against you when God is for you. And he is for you at all times. So another reason to go forward and be not afraid, be confident, not only not be afraid or not be discouraged, go way on the other side of the line, be confident, be bold in who you are in him today. The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run in and are safe. So you are fortified in the tower. When you are under his banner, called by his name, you are safe in your mind's eye. Remember, everything's about our perspective and what we focus on, whether we're stressed or not stressed, whether we have peace or we have turmoil. Turmoil is what's going on in your mind's eye. What are you focusing your energy on? So when th- situations arise, just envision yourself leaning into him under the shadow of his wing, going into that high, strong tower. You are safe in him. Remind yourself of it. Doesn't matter what storms are going on around you. You are safe in your Lord. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. Things are not always going to be beautiful and smooth. And there are going to be people that are going to go up against you on purpose. They're going to be deliberate and malicious. What are you going to do in those circumstances? You go into that strong tower. You go to your father. So when we read these scriptures, it's not that 50-50, is he going to give you over to your foes and he'll give you over if you forget to ask him. If you are his child, he is not going to give you over to your foes. He is watching your back. He is watching how everybody's manipulating things and how that's going to impact you. He has already gone before you and made a way. He says with every situation, you have that way of escape. So no, he is not turning you over to the desires of your foes. And though false witnesses rise up against you, spouting out malicious accusations, trying to trip you up, trying to defame your character, you turn it over to him. Always coaching people that come to me and say, well, this person has said this and this situation has arisen. I said, never expend excessive amount of energy trying to defend yourself. That is your father's job situation arises and somebody accuses you of something, you simply say, no, that's not how it went, or that's not what I meant, or this is what was the intention, or this is what I said, or this is what I did or didn't do, whatever is appropriate to the situation. If you say it once or twice, and they are still committed to the cause of believing the lie, believing the misinformation, they are, they are sold on that. And nothing that you do is going to change that. You allow, take your hands off it, Once you've spoken once or twice, take your hands off it and allow God to come in and he will redeem your character. It often doesn't come immediately, but trust me, it will turn around, but it will not be immediate. So do not allow those situations to take away your peace. You do the best you can with what you have. You take your hands off it, put in his hands and you go on about your day, about your life. Trust it. Let him show you what it is to learn. And then you go forward fully confident that he has your back and your reputation is in his hands because you are his child. He will redeem you along with your reputation. So you go in your day today, knowing that no matter what comes up against you, God has you covered. If you haven't done so already, please, 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 pretty please do click that thumbs up button to let me know that you see value in this. Also, please remember to check out your app store for our Coaching for Parents app. It has some amazing free content that is going to be invaluable to you as you navigate raising your tweens and teens. And as you go into your day, remember that you are highly blessed, greatly favored, and deeply loved, and that you already are victorious in him. 
So go forward today with the expectation of success. And keep your eye open for little treats that he may have already planted along the pathway of this day for you. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, for another moment of meditation.